So now let's look at how we can pull some information based on the category which we are getting in our component. The idea is that whatever is the you know, the query panel in my URL, okay, I would like to take that as a parameter and make an API call so that I can show, let's say, an article based on that parameter. The idea is again based on what my blog is doing which is you know, home is something which we will look at later but when I click on web it is basically a filtered view of all the articles which are tagged as web. Similarly if I click on travel it gives me all the articles which are related to travel. So let's look at how we can actually do this using an API call. Okay, Now I have my database for my blog already on my machine and it has around you know, 75 uh, rows. Now what I'll try to do is go to my code base and let's just say we will process that MySQL database using Laravel. Okay, I'm, uh, my, my current blog is also on Laravel but I want to create an API which gives me all those data points as API and then you know we can see how you know we can have a de decoupled api which is in any language and our next js application can talk to it obviously if you are comfortable writing your apis in node.js then you can use next as well because you know we have an api folder let me go to my code base see if you click here it does allow you to do a lot of other things under the hood to communicate with database and you know create those apis but uh, as i told you i want to show you how to do api level integration so we will stick to the laravel based api okay now before i do that let's just do uh, my blog i had that command already in place yes so i'll create a new project using laravel called my blog okay or maybe my blog api because my main folder is my blog so this can be the api and while this is getting installed what i can do is install axios because we will need that to make api calls so npm install axios so we have axios installed on our project and we have laravel installed as well right so why don't we first set up Laravel? I'll open up the code base in Visual Studio Code and okay, the wrong folder. Why don't I close this, go inside my blog API and then open it up. Now we will be um, um, pulling posts. So why don't we quickly create a model out of it so that you know, the queries can be easily done. So PHP artisan make model dash M post so we are right now looking at creating the api we don't need to be very detailed about the api implementation because you know, my idea of finally working with the blog is that i'll generate everything as a static page so you know this api will not be a public api for an anyone to consume so i can be very um, you know relaxed about any authentication or anything so you see now i will create a route which is like let's say category slash why don't we call it tag okay it's a closure i don't need to create a controller or anything okay and now um we will just return and just say post i'll need to import that class post query and I'll just paste a bit of code in here so that you know things are quicker. So this tag is coming as a, a get a parameter in a get URL which I'm you know injecting here. Then I have a select specific fields. So if you see from the post title, I'm only taking the title, the slug, the publish date. There are quite a few other fields as well. If you look at it, yeah, I have the summary body okay i'm not taking it right now which we, we can just live with the basic ones then i'm making a join with the post has tags 
okay because my post has tags has the it's a pivot table which gives me the idea of which post um, is mapped to what tag and obviously then i have the tags table which is you know uh, a list of all the tags which i have i'm not using all these uh, tags anymore i just have travel and web to keep things simple so we'll be only interested or in travel and web okay so this is my api i think um yeah so i'm doing a join of post hashtags and then join the tags okay with that i can do a conditional query which is you know give me all the posts where tag name is the tag which is coming okay and once we do that i think if i serve this application and go back to our browser localhost 8000 okay i just realized i haven't uh, made my database connection so that's a problem it's mysql all right i think my database name is amitav roy so it's amitav roy username is root password is empty so i'll just need to serve it again and refresh api slash category web okay so why using a text editor can be a good practice find javascript validations without js uh, form request okay spa that's fine and how about travel gives me only seven articles which is correct because inside travel i i only have seven articles okay so i think our basic implementation to get the api is working okay and we need to look at how we can fetch this data this api information into our component right so let's look at that 